What's up, you? Wait, I always say that. Um, you intelligent human beings. Today, I'm doing a different kind of video again. And I'm going to be addressing, I guess, a question that I get asked a lot. Which is, um, how do I play so fast while still having wrist? So, um, it's just going to be like some tips. Mostly just some tips and demonstrate uh, what that kind of looks like. And then I also put uh, a second camera so you guys can see as well as what it looks like with my hands. So, um, let me lower the volume here. So, we're going to jump into like a random custom game against AI. And we're just going to... Well, I'm just going to sort of walk you guys through some setting stuff. Um, what other pro players kind of do. And that kind of stuff. So, um, I think playing faster... Is definitely not or how do i say it playing really fast is not something that everyone can do you know like obviously not everyone can play like clem that goes for me as well um but even between some of the better pros even between people like clem and mar there are certain you know um differences that are very noticeable when you go through their povs so um i'll be talking about that so the first thing is if you don't already camera locations are a big one right and so you might see actually, and this is a big difference between some of the Korean players and some of the foreign players, um, is there's actually a lot of um, drag scroll, some of this stuff. So you can, I have, most pros have it in the middle mouse button. I have it on this back button here, if you look at my hand camera, and they'll kind of move around like this. And I believe it's Cyril that started to popularize that. And he does that a lot if you look at his first person. Um, but if you pay attention to uh, Maru POV, you can actually see that he re relies a lot on minimap and camera location. So what that kind of looks like, as you can see, right, is, you know, you'll see the span at the beginning, of, like F2 to, you know, F4, F5, whatever it is. And they kind of practice... You know, boxing, going through that kind of routine. Um, and they always set these up as soon as the game starts. Because that's around the best time you can do that, right? So, once you get that all set up, um, that's perfect. That's basically, you know, if you don't already have that set up, I'm sure most people do. That's a really big one. It just makes everything faster, right? Being able to react to everything in each base, right? I get her ass in my natural. Bam, I'm here. So, um... I won't be going over setting that up, but I can definitely link videos in my description if you don't already have that set up of, of channels that talk about that. Um, another big one is actually a rally point. And I think that if you don't already have this set up, you know, I think it's not too big of a deal below diamond. I think once you hit diamond, I think it's definitely a nice addition to have mechanically. Um, and, you know, I have it set to alt, as you can see here. And basically, I hit all, and it takes me to my rally point, which I always change. And I, you actually see that I use this as well to set that up. Um, and that just makes reacting a little bit quicker. So what that basically means, and what would, what that looks like, is if I am doing something in my main base, right, and then there's a ling run by or something happening in my in my natural, you know, I hit that rally point location, bam. Whatever army I've been building is there. And I can see exactly what's going on, right? So that might be useful if maybe in my mini map here, I see links coming. And then bam, kind of hit alt, raise the depot, something like that. So, you know, you're not always going to be able to react at the speed at which, at which you, you need to, right? Like that, that's a bit different. But it gives you the opportunity and it has, you know, it gives you the possibility of of being able to react um at the speed that you would need to right so it's definitely a lot easier than kind of doing this or doing this and um i think if it's a great addition to have and i would definitely recommend people do that so that's just you know this, a lot of the stuff is very simple stuff that you know through practice you'll start to see or you know maybe now you know that it's it's more efficient and it just it's less physically demanding and once you kind of get a routine going, it's a lot easier to, um, you know, pick up. So, camera locations, right? Jumping between my bases, doing everything. I want to make another depot of my wall off. Rally point location. And go to there. And, you know, another thing too. This one, obviously, is very obvious as well. It's just double tapping your production buildings. 
and that takes you to them as well so um doing that kind of stuff is definitely amazing um and so i'm gonna pause the video now actually because i want to talk a bit more about um other things mostly camera movement and um dpi and, and settings and that kind of stuff so first of all this is just like psa i guess um if you don't already for your forearm's sake you want your arm rest on your chairs to be aligned with your desk this is very obvious right this is not even so much specific to the game it's just like good good thing to have right so you don't you don't hurt your hands and your wrists and all that kind of stuff um but with dpi you want to have a range between like i would say lowest like 600 but i personally wouldn't use that to like 800 to maybe a thousand um if i don't uh if if i remember correctly rather i'm fairly certain that you thermal plays on 1000 dpi for example um Mario plays on 800 i think most of the korean terrans play on 800 and i believe also clem plays in about that range um and you'll hear that a lot um by 800 it, it is a good dpi to have and the reason why is just because it's not too slow but not too fast right and you want you want accuracy you want to be able to do these boxes and not be able to miss those clicks so um and like i said these are all very obvious ones for sure um but yeah so you know you can see it's not i have i have to move my mouse a good bit around the mouse pad but the lower dpi allows me to be more accurate with things um compared to what a faster dpi might allow you to do so you know if a thousand if a thousand is your go-to that's completely fine i think that's perfect i think once you get past maybe even like 1200 i think it's not too great anymore um it's just a lot harder to control everything and playing playing fast or playing in a scenario where you have to do a, something or react to something quickly and suddenly you know your mouse is kind of like flying around everywhere it just makes it way harder right to do that kind of stuff um drag scroll or not drag scroll i think it, i don't know what this is called to be honest but when you push the cursor against the screen you can see mine is like not too slow um but i actually don't like to use it too much and um most players don't uh like i said some of the foreign players will definitely use the uh drag scroll move around like this you know and kind of do that i think that's a lot better right it's way easier than putting the mouse against the corner and then boxing something when you can go like this and your mouse cursor stays exactly where you left it right so it stays exactly where you left it you kind of move around like this instead of doing all this so that's obviously a really simple one i, I you know i see this one a lot with people i coach especially people who are not used to the camera locations um and bouncing between those uh, so if you know doing this and like maneuvering around this way is just not something that you can get used to or something that you're not too used to um then you know you can try this out do this kind of go like that go like this you know some of the smaller movements so um and like i said like these are not going to make your fingers faster right like that you know th there'll be like a certain point where it's just like you can't go that much faster physically but these are things that you can do to make it easier for you get a better flow of your mechanics and also naturally pick up some speed right like once you get a rhythm of your build order obviously things are much faster you have to think less about doing things but on top of that making sure that you know you're not you're not uh, spending too much time like trying to click certain things um spending time you know trying to do this to get around um so th these are you know in the grand scheme of things like changing these things are not going to make um make it like you know if you're platinum you're instantly going to get diamond right like that's not really how it works it really depends on what your goals are if you want to play uh very like mechanical you want to you want to be you basically want to be mechanically strong you want to um definitely shoot for those higher ranks masters and gm like these this will be stuff that um will be kind of like i wouldn't say demanded of you but definitely things that will help you a lot so if that's kind of like what you're looking to do and looking to go for i would definitely um change some of that stuff with the camera movements and whatnot um and yeah i just feel like it definitely helps you know so 
And you'll see me as well when I play a game, or when some players play a game. You know, bouncing between the bases, getting used to those boxes. Oh, and that's actually another thing. So, you'll see a lot of times there's that they, we don't do big boxes like this. You'll see a lot of small boxes like this. And um, this is actually because it helps with the marine splitting. Also, if you're going to grab certain units, you wouldn't spend a big box, right? Like, I wouldn't, why would I go like this? Right, why would I go like this to pick up one tank? You know, but if I, you know, want to grab a tank or grab these, move that, grab, you know, this gives me that, that bit of accuracy. So, um, that's just a smaller detail, but that's kind of like why a lot of pros, on top of just spamming, practice doing that, that boxing stuff, maybe doing it at different angles and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I wanted to do a shorter video. I know it's not super detailed. Like I said, um, if you're interested in seeing how that looks like when it comes to changing settings, specifically related to what I just talked about in this video, uh, I'll include some other guides or guides in the in the description, um, and you guys can watch those. But just to kind of, like, summarize what we've talked about, um, first one being, if you don't already, camera locations. Doesn't matter how many bases. I have five, but you can go... As far as you want to or maybe four um that that is very subjective like that that's entirely up to you that's personal preference um so camera locations um and then using those camera locations to react to certain things instead of drag or dragging your cursor against the edges of the screen right so if i'm in my if i'm looking at my main base if i look at my main base and i'm getting attacked in my natural instead of going like this you know hit that double tap hit that camera location um, or your rally point and, and go about it that way. Um, the other thing is DPI, right? So a good range, I would say, is anywhere between 600 to 1,000. 600 being the lowest I would go, 1,000 being the highest I would go. Uh, but, you know, I, I will definitely say that 800 seems to be the best um, for DPI. And um, what was I going to say? I just brain farted. And uh, hello? Um... I forgot, damn it. But yeah, so 800 DPI is like, is like what what you would want. Um, and, but you know, play with it, play with it, definitely play with it. Not to say that it's perfect for you, but I would say, um, if you're over a thousand, um, I think it's a better for your wrist, and b you'll see some accuracy with that. And that's why you change it. It's just mostly to be a bit more accurate with your boxes and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, rally point location. If you don't have one already, definitely would suggest it. I think if you're just starting out the game. Maybe you don't have to necessarily do that right away, but I think the sooner you kind of start building that habit, definitely the better off it is for you um, in the long run. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, like, I was not playing. I did not use camera locations. I had a one army hockey, and I was GM. And, you know, like, for, to you guys, to, to lower player, lower MMR players, that, that, like, GM is really good, right? But the difference between, like, mid to low GM and being a pro gamer, I could not be anywhere close to 6k plus on eu if i didn't have any of these fixed if i didn't fix my my camera locations if i didn't fix my army hockeys and all that stuff so i actually recently underwent this process about a year ago um with the help of pig and so that's where i learned this kind of stuff basically so basically i'm ripping off pig and giving his content for free yeah but um yeah so that's pretty much it um thanks for watching my video i'm gonna probably do more stuff like this Hopefully, kind of stay away from guides, and but talk about mechanical stuff and more like new player friendly stuff. And um, yeah, so like I said, I'll include stuff in the description for the settings that I was talking about. And um, please like my videos, watch my videos, don't play me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.